course, this is Jim Park on the Templar Assassin, so Dark Mago will end up electing to take that Mars mid lane, leaving this. He's going to be able to get his uh, reactive armor after this. There it is. So I think the, the, the lane is actually good for Beast Coast right now. Talk to me a little just, bit about the mid lane. Oh, hold on, actually, they may go for a kill onto Schofield too. That blood grenade, yeah. Against the DP, but they 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 wanted to play Mars Me, right? So they have to just deal with it, you know? They have to try to make use of Beast Coast. They have to bring the numbers to defend the tower here. And they are doing just that. Avalanche and Toss reserved here for the side of Yamich as the spear will cleave through away. So, uh... Not the best moves out here from either team, especially as Schofield will give chase on through. Jim Park looking at a two-shot Yamich. Now it'll take four after the wand is erected. And now Puppy in trouble, has himself some frost armor, so it will take a little bit more time, but surrounded by four winter, he will pair. There he goes, two kills there so far on this Death Prophet, isn't he? We'll see as uh, he's very likely going to have to watch Yamich die, although... With that uh, onslaught on in, Schofield, Ooh, a nice avalanche, will secure the kill, now Sacred, looking to turn with the backing of the Global Silence, looking for the TP out, is FBZ. She gets caught in a very bad position, she gets speared, oh, she's yeah. gonna die to the TA. Oh, definitely, and that's that's what I was pointing out before, I mean, here's that blink reveal out from Dark Mago, reveal if you can call it just that puppy, he's hard to take down though, and the TPs, they're coming through in mass, even join the fight they do at least get a slow off onto armel the spear on back as well prevents him from turning now with the exo good avalanche as well out from schofield who still has the blink dagger will use it now defensively but they are going to be forced to leave dark Malgo behind in fact that bz he's found another uh target here Mark, i think would have made the difference there if he was ready and in that fight they have this trio of blink daggers here on beast coast we'll see what they can find now as they do look to go for oh, another nice fight stun. a nice done there oh and the splash damage onto two this time jim park in position and with the haste rune hard to outrun him to onslaught or not that's p can they actually look for any more kills though is beast coast they haven't gotten this perfectly either they've ran into a massive silence off on the side of armel and now the counter initiation it's too darn good Stay there, slow to a crawl and taken down only the chakram of sacred preventing any from well, armel they see him they do. Stinger. Okay. Last word applied. Schofield looking for the toss on back, oh, but silence no. before he could actually get it off. This gives an opportunity for counter initiation, even as Dark Mago does find the spear. Global Silence now committed. Oh no! The four staff. It got Armel away from the Timber Saw. Sacred fails to collect the kill, and that leaves Dark Mago high and dry, toasted and killed off as Visco once again retreats. The moment they go over and they don't kill the hero, like Jim Park can't really hit anymore. Oh, like he uh, can only uh -oh. kill heroes uh, during well, the global. I mean, I, I mean, I guess you can kill maidens. That that one's pretty free, isn't it? FBZ, he's got a pulverize in two more seconds. Does he actually have detection nearby? Jim Park hit him with a casual silver edge break. As Schofield looking to at least stand in the way of a TP cancel. Oh, and he's going to be the one to be pulverized and killed in return. No way he makes it out here. Good effort. The Parks, these, these uh, traps do silence. Let's see what they can actually make happen here, though. So they don't now, have on there on is the ward online. Schofield makes the jump on in. The BKB, big old cleave off of that auto attack. But the global silence now is going to be able to catch FBZ. Not like it matters much. Sacred barely making it out alive on 100 HP. Another timber chain away. No, taken oh, down here dead. as Chrysalis with the Ag Scepter up. Just spamming away on the illusions and the spirit lance is rewarded with a second. You, know, you either force them to go back or you force them to, uh, to react in one way or the other. Right now, Beast Coast, they are not being forced to do anything. I mean, Boom is not Boom. Ooh, Secret is coming Secret, in with, yeah. uh, with, without a smoke. And GZ. All right, they're going to try and burst through one, and they have managed to do so successfully. Yamich might be an easy second kill here, but Crystalis, he's onto his man. Jim Park looking to TP away, will be allowed to do so. It's Schofield who will be left at Jim Park. Do they have detection? Yes, indeed. This time they do. Jim Park looking to run away. Does not have refraction for 10 more seconds. Global silence in an effort to try and save the life of Jim Park, but it seems all but able to clear the wave dark mago from the side no he's gonna whiff on everything forced to pop the bkb does at least find one but now they're gonna turn with the pulverize and crystal is pumping in the damage the spear on back but armel stands in between dark mago oh, and his own fountain the four staff oh no that was stingers dark got something you know they have a global i need to find an angle of initiation here it might just be the side of secret finding the better initiation as they have smoked now Armel standing up front, they're going to look to try and actually pop the real Chrysalis. Oh, Schofield, he can't even get off a damn toss before he's taken down. Global Silence at least allows him to pick up Yamich, but it's going to be the, the supports now being routed from the side fight. Stinger completely out of mana. Jim Park has absolutely no lockdown for any of these cores. 
just has to watch his second support be ran down. Not realizing what's coming. That's a disarm now onto Jim Park. Just able to blink away through the refraction, but the pulverize this time. It's caught their man, Sacred, in some trouble. Being focused down. Holy moly, the damage winter. He is killed off by Crystalis. There's a buyback. Bad spot in the game. You know? So it's your TS fat in the early game, and you have to be able to use that. Ramban in. Oh no, they've caught the silencer. He does have buyback at the very least. Everyone now being rallied on back as Dark Mago does catch three inside the arena of Blood. Jim Park focusing down onto one. That's three buybacks already up inside of Beast Coast. What more can they get? Puppy, he's taken down. Armel in a little bit of a rough spot here. Remember, cheese. Secret did go up to the high ground. Still has cheese. The Avatar, the damage is sufficient. Three dead from Secret. Oh, the Yamich ultimate canceled immediately. And they will yeah, be able to cancel his GP. It is Crystal's, though. Eager to 1v5. Does take down Stinger on the dieback first. Crystal is still trying to fight through this one. Stinger is still getting some good damage and Schofield now taken down but Jim Park able to find and isolate the real Crystal is Crystal by the way Sacred's the one holding on to this refresher how do you feel about that not giving it to the silencer specifically or even or even the oh, I guess Mars is on orb Ooh, the blinks out from Beast Coast a secret eager for a fight they will be able to find their man Sacred the Schofield make that in some trouble however the counter initiation oh it's not perfect yet again they flood the sphere, Sacred. He's jumping in. Beast Coast, are you fighting or you're not? They say that they're fighting. There's going to be the glitch here. I mean, back in 15 seconds, everyone's back. The Dark Mago does not have a BKB, has a refresher. That's a pretty decent spear on back, but FPZ, you're going to jump back in. And with the Halberd, oh my goodness, the damage. Look at Crystalis unleashing onto Dark Mago. He refreshes for what? For what, Winter? Absolutely murdered for Sacred as game. well. He's going to be taken on down. Team Secret this time, they breach up onto the high ground and they get things right. Two dead already. Dark Mago does have buyback. We'll see at least what he can make happen with that. That is going Maybe to be mid lane of Barracks taken down. Who's going to deal with them? Yeah. Nobody. It's 90 seconds. Now. Okay, that's a pick off at least on the Yamich. Will it prevent Secret from going for more? Likely not. As immediately four heroes go charging on in. That's going to be buyback number one committed. And another death here at Force Schofield in this hold. Singer as well is going to be taken down. Didn't have global, but would have had it in 15 more seconds. Dark Mago with the buyback catching two on the spear. But Jim Park dishing damage now onto the death prop. It didn't go for the stacked up heroes. Clutched now by the pulverize. Is very set here to lose his Aegis. And what does he have left on the second life? Not much, Winter. He's got a refraction and a blink in three seconds with silent stuff, unable to do anything, and GG is called. It's Team Secret who take down Beast Coast in game number one. And Beast Coast kind of like self destructed in the early game when they got off to a really good speed. Yeah, Beast Coast had last speed. Uh, I mean, the, I think I'm not very sure about the span. Kind of got uh, uh, countered by the tide. The death Pact. Oh, Sacred. A puppy trying to be really aggressive with the Blood Granny and the Blood Right. And they might actually oh. get Sacred here as well. A couple more right clicks. They have him. Easily done. Puppy may die in response and will go down to the right clicks of Schofield. Chrysalis giving chase. I don't think he wants to leave lane for too long, but might have it here, especially with the move speed he gets from this last little Blood Right. Leaving the lane pretty far, Winter. But Schofield has no more TP. regeneration. Has TP. I mean, this is the problem of Phoenix, like you say, you know, if you don't get to exert a decent amount of dominance in the first first, first wave, a decent amount of dominance in the first first, first wave, as, especially, then your hero becomes... No field. Yeah, he's just dead up top lane, by the way. Ends up getting caught out there, looks like Puppy with the shard golems. Did some pretty good work there, man. Even look now for a kill on the Sacred with that first point in the Penitence. They will be running them down. There's a Ring of Health wow. online for Sacred. Turns around to actually get off. <laughs> Stop the champ from uh, winning the lane by eating his kit, but Harry, I'm, I'm not correct. <laughs> and now the lane, the kisses on a Dark Mago needs to get right up into the face of Armel. Will not change the outcome of this fight. Yeah, no that he is. He doesn't have TP. Puppy as well is nearby with a hurl boulder. He's got himself a purge as well to slow him even more. And Sacred, he's just dead again. I mean, down bottom, they're just... fighting. It's a big fight at the very least, and they will be able to take down Yamich, but. How are you taking on FPZ here? I just, I don't think you are. You went three heroes, good luck. And I lose my lanes because of the slightest margin. Yep. Because of the Lotus, you know, I can't get the Lotus and yeah. I lose my lane. And then pick up the Lotus. Me, and then I can't pick up the... Not bode well here. Puppy as well setting now the two Warpine Raiders down bottom. They might just look for a kill He's on a Jim dead. Park. The kisses as well from downtown. Jim Park throws a stun, but surrounded by four. He is going absolutely nowhere. Rupture, oh TP away, and going nowhere. I mean, Skullfield, he needs to get kills. 
Right yeah, now. mid lane though. Okay, this is something. Dark Mago will be able to at least here. You need a blink dagger. You need something. Singer, he might just throw his ulti down here. I don't think it'll save him though. There's a ravage here, by the way, out from the side of FBZ. They're gonna throw down the ultimate now. Puppy actually realizing he doesn't actually have the damage. Oh no, the neutral stunned him. Oh, Puppy forced to use the hand of God, and now from the mid lane, Dark Mago coming in. Wow. The jungle uniting against Puppy, the only way Beast Coast can, back, can get back into this game as the Meteor Hammer connects onto the scope field. The Kiss is raining on down, assisting FBZ into the kill now onto the Clank. Stark Mago, he can do nothing against these heroes. He just does not have the damage. Maybe with this Monkey King, they can look for something. Sacred now with the call is going to give Jingu stacks actually on the Yamich. Yamich actually is not going to continue for that last stack and is dunked for the kill. Something now. No storm done. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna see a fast level sticker than this. This is now onto Sacred Meteor Hammer. No way. Is this gonna connect? Indeed, it does. And even cancels the TP scroll. And the continuing to farm is gonna be caught out here. Now they do have themselves a supernova. Armel has himself a little shredder as well. Looking now for the Phoenix Supernova Stun. Has found the kill. And they even have plenty of damage for Jim Park. A two for none trade. A Scopefield. Rock a fight up here. Sacred with the bling. I'm not sure if that's really a viable target. Now they will try. Nice stun on the two up from Yamich. Oh no, the counter initiation. The Meteor Hammer only clipping one, but it might be good enough. As Sacred already dead. The Hand of God doing a lot of work here. Oh my goodness, even the Phoenix utilizing the dive to be able to pick up the kill. It's going to cost Dark Mago his life. Only for the Tidehunter Winter. Just one Tidehunter. All that work. Field. Trying for the fight for the kill there. On to one more as Jim Park eager to pour the fight on the Puppy. Puppy is just way too tanky though. And now the kisses on from the Rod of Atos. Jim Park trying to fight the loose one with the Mask of Man. Not to heal the Bloodseeker Crystallis. Looking to clean up here as Stinger falls as well to the Blood Right from behind Yamich. Sorry, make that Scofield is trying to find some backliners. Finding no luck, however, as they still have detection for him. An unstoppable. Uh, as Beast Coast. Try to create some sort of uh, distraction so that Sven can still continue farming, finish his BKB. Rod of Atos, Stinger, in some trouble. Okay, they actually got a nice pretty egg. good Supernova stun. That'll at least condemn Yamich. And another dunk here for Sacred. Two stacks at least. Yep, I think too decided. disappointed. It wasn't worth it for him to blow the Ravage for the support here. Now down bottom, in trouble is Armel as he is gonna die here alone versus three. He's they're going to poke again mid. I don't think they can kill FBZ here, oh, though. Oh, Crystallis. I found him. He has still Aegis. He does. Okay, they will not be able to get through uh, Crystallis that easily, though. Wukong's command is going to be at least killed off before. Now the Ravage onto two. Easy kill onto Jim Park as Crystallis lives through it all, collecting the tips from his teams, collects three kills on top of that, and still has the Aegis to boot here. Winter may look for this last one onto Dark Mago. No way out of this one for him. As all Crystals needs to do is dance around him a bit, and it's the ultra kill here for and then go go to the end of the stun and then jump to the tree again. So you essentially just immediately blink almost two screens. Get nerfed in 733. Uh, Yamich, he finds Stinger. And he does. Uh, they will be able to get off the Supernova. Armel with not enough attack speed here, so the stun is going to end up coming on through Yamich with a Yule Scepter. Quick to at least delay his own death. Might even be able to jump away. So the Ravage connect on the two. The kisses are beautiful. Yeah, the chain stuns as well, Winter. The Meteor Hammer. Down goes Dark. Very nicely done there by FBZ. Training his spells uh, correctly. Saving the Monkey King in the process. And right now, they're going to look for even more control. Crystalis. This might be a bit too deep for him. Can they actually kill him off is the biggest question, though. Crystalis, he's going to go down. A huge fight now for the side of Beast Coast. They didn't get the dunk on him. It's not going to matter too much. A sacred oh, blinks in. What a call. But do they have any follow-up? What's the follow-up here? Jim Park thinking about making the jump on in. But he's already lost. Sacred, he's completely alone here. The cleave damage ain't half bad. He's almost actually cleaved through the Monkey King. And will be able to get a double kill off of that cleave. So Beast go down. Version number two. With the cheese this time. As Chrysalis once again gets to hold on to that Aegis. So he has both. A Schofield is going to be. Sacred should not find anything. Chrysalis, maybe Chrysalis thinks he wants to go in, and he is going to be able to find the Rupture immediately. Let us take a look at the attack speed. The Axe cannot get enough spins, even with the Sunray to try and heal him up. 
Stinger may be left behind here as well. He's already used his Icarus dive, only has himself a Supernova. He's going to actually drop it as they look to try and turn off the back end of this. Crystals has just way too much attack speed. You might not even be able to get through Puppy. All right, it seems like you'll be able to do just that. And now, now what, Jim Park TPing away? Nope, not happening. Crystalis eats a lot. I was kind of in that team fight. I just need, I just need way more damage, honestly. Not have nearly enough of it there. And now Schofield, once again, is going to be able to steal away a wizard room. There are lots of TPs forced on back. I mean, everyone came back to kill underneath the, the Observer Ward. So they see Sacred, they see Stinger, and I think they saw Jim Park as well. We'll see how quickly they can make those lot disappear as Stinger does it to himself there. <laughs> just flew, I guess, too close to the sun on that one to use a, a Phoenix. <laughs> Sneaky here, Winter, but he's right underneath a ward. I don't think he makes it out alive. He's got a BKB TP. He must know that trouble's coming for him. Uh, how can you run from a monkey? There's no way, right? Hey, they find a spot to hide and keep Ooh, you out. And there this is could be trouble. Okay, they did see him, but he <laughs> blinks away a bit too quickly. Another gush on forward. Are they going to hit the Ravage? Do they see him in time? Cuts another wave in the mid lane. Down bottom, Schofield starting to push. All right, now they're TPing back from He's focusing down on this tower, though. He's got, <laughs> he's got it. Tower. Three heroes surround him and take hey, wait, him down. No, the... What did the swim buy? You got anything huge? They, they have a Halberd on the Phoenix. They have a BKB now on the Axe, and they're going to make a jump now onto the Watermelon. Can they kill him off in time? Absolutely not. Sunray at least into the Supernova first, and this is going to allow at least Beast Coast to continue taking this fight, but Christmas is in now. A big old stun, though. Can they find the dunk onto him in time? Yes, they can, but that's only the Aegis. He has no BKB by the time he respawns here, though. Crystalis and Sacred, he's actually going to go down to the right clicks of Armel. Dark Mago up on the high ground, takes down Puppy, but it's Crystalis who deletes Stinger from this fight. A one versus on that fight. I cannot believe how well that played. You can see here Schofield. Uh, well, they did get rid of the gem on the Monkey King. Who has oh, it no now? Dust. He has no dust. Wait, who's got the gem? How does, where do you say? it? I guess he must have just come out of Invis there. Not like it matters. Now that entry. What are the core players playing support want to do? You know, they just say, I'm playing support. Okay, this fight kicking off Sacred this time around though. Yeah, no way you can jump off the back of that call target. Crystal is chasing for more up to level 25 all Yeah. And they, they have uh, plenty. Look at Puppy. He picked up the DD rune, by the way. Oh, that's, a, that's a bold jump right there from Stinger. Wow. Crystal is already up to 25, so he has two rupture charges. Only had one. Has one, pardon me, at the moment. These are going to be buildings getting deleted rather quickly as the stun is going to miss out there from Miamich. Fortify is forced. Pass, but Beast Coast nearly in position. The smoke now from Secret as they do sense this coming. There's going to be the jump on in. They make the jump onto Puppy. They try oh, to save him now with the Ravage. It's good enough. And in fact, the counter initiation. It's too good. Jim Park. He's going to be able to not get off the any satanic auto attacks. The Yule Scepter saves himself. A Phoenix Supernova stun is going to connect, though. Jim Park managing to still fight through this one. Is not going to be caught by the Meteor Hammer there, but just has no Jim more Park's sustain. Down. Jim Park is down. And now Secret wipe Beast Coast off the face of the earth. They're going to be able to collect now onto this next Roshan. Yeah, behind, you know. You pay the yep. price. I'm not going to this body to break. Well, as long as the X didn't jump his cause, they're still going to win the team fight. Yeah, you're trying. They're going to end the game. Sacred wins with team wipe. <laughs> cause, they're still going to win the team fight. Yeah, you try and kill Puppy, you see what happens with team wipe. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even kill Roach. They straight up just... They're going to end the game. Sacred, he's in trouble. They have the detection, and they have a very easy kill. Dark Mago, he's going to be scouted here. They have a refresher, by the way, in the backpack. They're not going to need it. Timber saw. he is just minced meat. He even couldn't connect to the Timber Chain. Down he goes. No, by that. Out. They got six more games of Dota to play after this one. So do you, Beast Coast. See what they opt to do now as tier four is falling very quickly to the right clicks of Crystalis. Throne is exposed. There is no fortify. There is no, yes, no timber. TP. And there's the oh, no TP. No yeah, it doesn't have TP. <laughs> That'll do it. GG well played is called. Crystalis gets another kill here to end off his series at 21, 23, pardon me.